Hi guys, Sherry here from No Facts Game Crew. How's it going? Hi guys, Sherry here from NFGC. How's it going? So this is going to be a Twin Flame reading for uh, April the 14th until the 22nd. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I think I'm going to use some different cards here for the reading. So this is Tarot Luminati. And I think I'll use this for the masculine side. So I, um, I'm pretty darn near printing, uh, finished printing my book here, so <laughs> this is how thick it is. Uh, I think there's about 50 pages that still need to be printed, um, but wow, that's crazy, that came out of me. Okay. Oh yes, um, before we get started, let's do the draw again for the Patreon. Um, unfortunately, uh, uh, Trent didn't contact me. So, let me pull another name. Angela, um, the last name starts with a, a D, Dawes. I'm thinking Dawson, I'm not too sure, but uh, Angela, I will be contacting you through Patreon to let you know that you won the prize, uh, which is a, a, um, a deck of my cards. Um, so if she doesn't um, claim the prize uh, by the next reading, we'll draw again. Okay. And let's use the Witch's Tarot for the feminine side. Thank you to all you uh, new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. It's so nice to to have new people in my vibe tribe. Um, you know what? We haven't used the Osho Zen for a while, so let's use this. So that we'll use this for um, the union energy. I think we'll leave the heart space for Dorian Virtues, Romance Angels. And I think we'll use this for the bottom of the deck also. Okay, and the Romance Angels. This one. Alrighty. So, we'll also give my decks a shuffle here, because I'll be using these as clarifiers. Now I'm thinking of um, expanding my audience to include zodiacs. Uh, I did try at one time, but I was doing every single uh, zodiac sign. So I think I'll try uh, it with four videos. So um, all the air signs, all the water signs, um, earth, and so on. Okay, so let's begin. Starting with the overall energy for the coming week is possibilities. So here in the picture we have an eagle flying above and of course they can see everything. Uh, they have a higher vantage point, right? So seeing all the possibilities and here in the background we have a sun rising. Um, so it's a new day. It's looking to the future, um, feeling hopeful. So the the two of wands is just that is expansion of the the mind it is taking a creative idea and building on it um 
So it seems to me like maybe a decision needs to be made, but we'll see what the rest of the reading says. Um, let's start with the masculine. So his past position is judgment. So this is a grand awakening card. It's a rebirth. So realizing your life, um, you know, is what you make it basically. Uh, realizing that what you thought was real is an illusion, is a fantasy, is um, a role that you've been playing. So the masculine has awakened to something. And so the overall energy is that rising, that seeing all the possibilities. So, you know, we have some people down here, um, I guess, coming out of coffins, um, you know, being reborn. They've gone through a traumatic experience. And so they have a new outlook on life. This card also represents completion. So I'm just gonna pull a clarifier here. So slow and steady, the, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, this shows that he's been on a very long journey. So it's a completion of that journey. Um, it was very slow, painstake. Um, he, he took it one step at a time. Uh, and there's a sense that he has arrived and he's, um, in the process of, or well, he was in the process. Sorry about that. Um, I ran out of memory, so I deleted some apps. Hopefully that'll help. Um, okay, so where were we? Yeah, so there's been an awakening on the masculine side and it's taken a long time. So you're gonna have to trust that I haven't looked at the cards. I'll give these a quick shuffle though. All right, so the past position for the feminine is Knight of Cups. So this shows me that she's been maybe actively pursuing the masculine, um, showing him how she feels, um, you know, maybe sending messages or trying to communicate in some way. But um, there's this openness to, to share her heart. Uh, the High Priestess is somebody who is very intuitive. So um, this may be, you know, her turning within and, you know, feeling love for all, um, feeling love for herself. Um, she may be asking herself questions about the masculine, um, trying to, to see into the future to see if, you know, there's this loving energy that might possibly be coming towards her. Um, I'm going to pull another card here, Five of Swords. So mental conflict, um, I guess what I'm seeing with this is there is this hidden energy within the feminine of either wanting to, you know, act out um, or, you know, there's this push and pull uh, you know, this energy of love and then this ener negative energy. So she could be, you know, trying to balance this within herself, um, calming any negative thoughts. What's in the masculine's present position is the Four of Cups. So, you know, this shows somebody being offered a cup of love, right? But their back is turned to it so they don't see it. Um, or they're choosing not to accept it, they're ignoring it. So this is my ghosting card. The chariot is uh, movement forward, taking control of your life. So there is a desire to move forward in an emotional way, but he's choosing not to at the moment. One more card for that. Movement forward, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so this could be moving forward in work. So he's pursuing, um, you know, an end goal, the, the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, and there's a lot of momentum there. So he's ignoring his emotional side or any kind of offers and pursuing things that he's always wanted to do and he feels like there's momentum building that what he's creating is 
very powerful, but he might be, you know, a workaholic or something. So what's in the feminine's present position is the Six of Pentacles. Uh, so this is offering, you know, help or receiving help. Um, the Queen of Cups, again, there's this openness, uh, this emotional openness. So she could be helping other people, um, you know, almost like counseling them. Uh, you know, this could be family members, but yeah, there's this sharing, this um, being there for you in the 3D as well as an emotional kind of I'm there for you. I feel that this has more to do with the family because when she thinks about pursuing the masculine in the past, um, this mental conflict comes up. So what is the foundation? So it's guilt, the Eight of Swords. So, you know, this is mental conflict gone to the extreme. This is feeling trapped in your mind. There's all these tugging thoughts. Um, but the word is guilt. So it almost feels to me like the sky is clearing. There's growth up here, flowers. Uh, so in the past, there was this shared energy of guilt. So one card for the masculine, the sun and the feminine is contemplation. So contemplation is waiting. Um, you've done a lot of work, you've invested some time and energy into something, uh, and you're waiting for the payoff. So this waiting, this thinking caused a lot of mental anxiety or stress for the feminine. So I feel that she kind of realizes that when she goes to a certain place, it does nothing but, um, you know, steal her energy, steal her vibrancy. And so she's in this, you know, very giving energy, but it, it's, it seems to be a focus on, on, on self-love and giving to those around her. So the sun card is what the masculine got. So this is the most positive card in the deck. It's uh, also a rebirth. Um, you know, it's just feeling on top of the world and excited about life. Everything seems to be working out great. But then it's coupled with the Eight of Swords. So this birth came with guilt, came with um, anxiety and stress. And, you know... As a result, there was a rebirth from it. Um, like he was very cautious about the steps that he took. And it seems to be he's on a journey somewhere. And he blasted out of whatever darkness there was, reborn anew, which is very positive. That's great. Okay, so... I'm going to move into the union a little bit here. So what's the feminine bringing into the union is abundance. Yeah. The king of pentacles. That's kind of what I'm feeling over here. It's very generous, giving, um, feeling like you have it all. You have the Midas touch. There's balance as well. A lot of beautiful colors, very, you know, earthy and giving abundance. That's good. Definitely reflects that energy there. So the two of swords um, is at a crossroads. You know, you you feel like you can't make a decision. There is, you know, a sense of a lot of uh, abundance coming into her life, but in terms of the the connection, she feels stuck at a crossroads. You know, waiting for some type of answer. Um, feeling whole and very generous within herself, even though she feels that there is some type of blockage over here. 
from the masculine side or that's what she's bringing into the union maybe she doesn't she needs to make a choice or a decision um, and she's coming at it from a higher vantage point um, you know not being pulled down by negative thoughts or negative energy so the masculine is bringing in the justice card which is breakthrough so you know, and that's exactly kind of what I'm seeing here is him breaking out of a negative situation into a more positive um, rebirth type of thing. So the breakthrough, you can see like, you know, there's an explosive energy and freedom. You know, so this is what he's bringing in. So it could also be karmic energy as well. The Ice Queen, so possibly he's breaking free from a karmic energy or, um, you know, or somebody who's very judgmental, cold. Uh, so this could be him unchaining from this energy uh, that's in its external, or this could be him embodying this energy. Um, it's very you know, open. It's very healing. It's, and it could also mean, you know, we got the justice card, which is truth, justice, and then we got the queen of swords, who is, you know, could also be a judge, you know, makes a decision. And then we also had judgment down here. So there could be a court case or something happening, um, and that's taking his attention away. But it's very uplifting energy. There's something new has happened. He's taken a new direction and he's working towards that. So what's in the near future? Uh, for the feminine is the five of swords again. Same card down here, mental conflict. Crown chakra. So opposite energy. You know, this is stabbing thoughts, uh, negative thoughts, negative energy, negative people all being directed at her and then the crown chakra is an awakening from that it's um, meditating and connecting with source connecting with yourself um, finding truth within yourself and you know clearing away any negative thoughts so that's great there's there was something lingering down here um, and you know this indecisiveness and it seems to be addressed in the near future whether it's the feminine decides to meditate or find some stillness quiet maybe even take a vacation or something near future for the masculine temperance wow so he is on a path to find balance within his life you know he's coming out of this very trying time um and although he's you know, emotionally neglecting the feminine <clears throat> or withdrawing um, in the near future it seems to be, you know, he finds that balance. He tempers himself. He spreads himself evenly, gives of himself where it's necessary. There we go, that reciprocation card. It's the same one down here. So giving and receiving, that even exchange of energy. So where he was closed, now he's open and giving and balanced and feeling very, you know, harmonious within himself. So what is it that you both desire is the Ten of Cups. Beautiful harmony. Yeah, and that's what I'm seeing, right? You're both working towards that balance, that peace, that harmony um, within yourself. The Vibe Tribe and the free thinker. So the free thinker, you know, this is the second time that these court cards for uh, the air or swords has shown up on the masculine side. So this could be an, you know, an air sign, uh, <clears throat> or this could have something to do with communication. Um, wanting to speak his truth, wanting to clear the air, want, wanting to say what's on his mind and achieve that balance and harmony within himself deal with whatever that is in the present position the feminine wants her friend 
uh, she wants to feel connected. She wants to celebrate life. She wants to dance and feel that peace and harmony and happily ever after. Um, yeah, it's this connectedness that I feel with, with these cards. All right, so what is the final outcome? Wow, the feminine God also, the temperance. Nice. That's what you guys want is peace and harmony. Um, and, and it looks like you guys are really working on yourselves right now. I don't even want to pull another card for that. That's perfect. You guys are marrying each other. And for the masculine is the Seven of Cups. So before I came on camera, I was shuffling all the cards, uh, getting them all ready, and I kept on seeing the Seven of Cups showing up. So confusion, um, not knowing which road to, cha to take, having too many choices. So this is his final outcome. Spiritual union, the Two of Cups. So... I think it's almost like he turns around at this point, right? There's his back is to us here. It's back. His back is to us again. Um, is it? Yeah, his back is to us again down here. So there is this breaking out or breaking free, but he's ignoring an emotional side of his um, his life, right? The twin flame connection. So what I feel here is him making a decision about love, um, feeling a spiritual connection, union with the feminine, and it's a very uplifting energy. So again, there's this rise happening on the masculine side. So what is in the heart space? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So you both re really feel that, you know, the other is the one. Um, that's what the masculine ultimately realizes the feminine isn't focused on that so much she kind of already knows and um, if she focuses on that it kind of takes away from what she's trying to achieve in her life I guess um, so it's like she's looking for balance within herself she does find that um, and that is her focus she knows he's the one right so she's gonna allow him um, to come to her. There's nothing she needs to do. Reunion. Yeah, for the feminine, of course, right? <laughs> so somebody from the past coming back. She wants that, the, the reunion. Um, she, she knows it, I believe, already. And he's bringing in the perspective ship, which is a hangman. So he's surrendering, letting go of control, trying to see things from a different perspective. Um... But there is this emotional tug of war that's happening, I feel, you know, on both sides where he's more ignoring it. She, not necessarily ignoring it, she's aware of it, but not trying to control it or, um, you know, she wants stillness and peace within herself and that's what she's working towards. So the masculine is shifting while the feminine is pursuing um, relationships, um, connections with other people, and really connecting and bonding with people on a 3D level. All right, so I have a feeling my camera is going to shut off soon, so I am going to um, pull two cards from the universe, Let's see what the final messages are. Masculine first is Manta Ray Mermaid. And for the feminine is Autumn Mermaid. So I'll read the feminine first. Okay, so it says, As Mother Nature sheds her autumn frock, preparing for her snowy cloak, she casts away the finery of handsome maple and hardy oak. As seasons change, so much must I, subject to climate, climes extreme. Yet I cannot help but long for warmer days and sunny streams. A melancholy mermaid, deep in thought, lies in a pond beneath the, the shedding tree in autumn. She weaves gently as the leaves tumble down, a sign that cooler temperature and less vibrant times are ahead. So the meaning is natural change is coming. 
Change is inevitable. We are all exposed to the cyclical patterns of nature. At times we rejoice, at times we buckle down to prepare for harsher weather to come. It can be easily easy to wallow in self-pity, pining for the warmth and light of summer. But colder, darker days will come, and it is important not only to brace yourself for them, but also to embrace them. Be prepared for a natural change that might seem negative on the surface. If anticipated appropriately, this change may be a pleasure when embraced. Each season of our lives br brings joy, sorrow, new activities, and duties. Preparation is key. Look ahead to what nature is bringing you and busy yourself with plans. Okay, so there is change, and ultimately, I, you know, you find that balance. I feel that she's already anticipating that change. And so the masculine is 20. Oh, open it right to the page. Okay. So, Manta Ray Mermaid. Tales of deep from the swab at night. Paint a most unfavorable light upon a mysterious ethereal being, grace, sorry, graceful as a bird in flight. Scapegoat for casualties at sea. Sunken ships are blamed on thee. Yet fear and slander cannot curb your charming curiosity. So the meaning, or sorry, it says a mermaid with a twisted tail leads a group of majestic manta rays through the starling blue sea. She is wise enough to trust and befriend the intelligent creatures in spite of their legendary reputation for ferocity. So the meaning is be wary of rumors. Somebody has been talking about you behind your back. While it is flattering to know you are on everybody's mind, it is not so nice when you find out that what is being said is simply not true. Somehow through the mis misunderstanding or deliberate mudslinging, people are getting the wrong message about you, and it is time for you to set the record straight. If you need to, enlist the help of a trusted companion and put an end to these rumors once and for all. Okay, so, yeah, I feel, you know, he's breaking out. Especially this ju uh, justice and judgment and the um, Queen of Swords. Okay, so I do hope this helps. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, and comment, please, guys. All right, cheers.